Yo, what's up guys? My name is... Gogo! And today we have something really, really, no, no, really special. I think we have something really, really special to feature. Okay guys, what we have here is the bigger but younger brother of the GX700. The GX800! And just like its predecessor, it's one of the only laptops that has external water cooling. Hey, take a look at that, guys. It comes with this one as well. Alright? So, guys, other than that, you can feast your eyes on its 18.4 inch monitor in 4K Ultra HD. Look at that. Yes. Uh -huh. You'll also be surprised that. Uh, are, are, are the viewers cringing? God, I'm sorry guys. You'll also be surprised that it has not one but two GTX 1080 graphics cards connected together with an SLI. Whatever SLI means. Cable? SLI cable? Tama ba? No, just SLI. Just SLI. Uh, f*** me. You'll also be surprised that it has not one but two GPUs. Two GTX 1080s connected together with an SLI. So pair that up with its processor, that is an a an Intel i7 7820HK and 64 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, and you got yourself a really overpowered laptop right there. And it's overpowered. Now, before we go into the other features, let's test out its performance when gaming. So we prepared some benchmarks for you guys and we used fraps for it, alright? And we set every game on its highest graphics settings, okay? In 4K HD resolution, alright? Take note, guys. It's gonna be the highest, you know, like, pinnacle of benchmarking and stuff. Now, before we go into the other features, let's test out how this beast performs through some benchmarks, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be impressive. Now, it's important to note that we used fraps to gather the benchmark data, and we all tested these games in their highest graphic settings, and their resolution set to 4K. Let's see the results. CSGO had an average of 160 FPS. Rust, on the other hand, had an average of 38 FPS. Do take note that this game is still in alpha and unoptimized. Battlefield 1 had an average of 93 FPS. Next is The Division, with an average of 55 FPS. And lastly, with Player Unknown Battlegrounds or PUBG, it was getting an average of 70 FPS. So as you can see guys, it can pretty much play any game out there in the market on a stable FPS in 4K resolution. Now other features include awesome quad speakers that sounds just as good as those high quality ones you install in your living room. Fidgety hardcore gamers will also appreciate the RGB mech tag tactile keyboard and the fully customizable R-Sync RGB lighting of the whole machine. Other than that, the whole package includes a Gladius gaming mouse and a fancy looking cooler case. And all that for the very, very, very low price of only 370,000 pesos. Yeah, I know. So considering all the specs and its performance, we're giving the ROG GX800 a gold award. However, I would like to point out some things that was uh, a bit inconvenient. Since the GX800 is bigger and heavier than the GX700, it doesn't have its own casing to carry it around on. 
The big baggage casing is only for the cooler and not for the laptop. So you have to find another thing to store the laptop in if you ever plan on traveling around with it. Do take note that the laptop itself weighs a hefty 5.7 kilograms without the cooler. So make sure you store it in something safe and sturdy. Taking those in consideration, I find it hard to imagine people frequently bringing this laptop around in public on a daily basis. And that's it guys for our review of the ROG GX800. If you want to know more about this product, then head on to the link in the video description below. And also, we want to give a big thank you to Asus for lending us the laptop itself and for sponsoring my Taiwan trip the other day, right? I did a lot of good stuff with this laptop while I was there, right?